Understanding Sewage Treatment Plant by Star Automation In this video, we will understand how sewage treatment plant works. We will discuss about STP plant with SBR based process. By SBR, we mean sequencing batch reactor. Let us understand the STP plant by going through each section. This section is a screen and grid separation. Here, the influent sewage is passed through cores and fine screen followed by grid separation. We can see here <coughs> these are the cores and fine screens. And these are the gates of a screen to pass the water, sewage water. These are the screens, and at the top of this screen, we have a solenoid to separate the coarse and fine material deposited in this screen. These are the pneumatic actuator of solenoid walls. So, this complete assembly is with screens and at the back of uh, this screen uh, these are the this is the solenoid and at the back we have a conveyor a screen conveyor where the <coughs> this material will be thrown here and from this conveyor it will be passed to a ground and deposited there so that <coughs> it can be taken away so here we have the inlet water which is a sewage uh, waste water is treated and basically it is a skin from coarse and fine skins and there is a grid separation also this is a panel for controlling the screens actuators see here we have screen 1 these are the indications of screen 1 on overload and low oil level and same way we have a screen 2 also indications and control now we can see here this is the after passing from uh, screens the water this is a partial flume and the water is coming through here and an ultrasonic level sensor is installed at the inlet of partial flume to measure the flow uh, these, are, these are the gates here this is a mechanical and electrical control gate and these are the receiving chambers where the water is uh, inlet water is received after passing from grid and screens we have two parallel uh, receiving chambers uh, at the left and right side uh, so and we have two gates also so if we will open the one side gate the water will go at the one uh, particular one section of the receiving side <laughs> at a time uh, we generally open at a time one gate is open so right now right side gate is open and here the water is uh, flowing here in this receiving chamber we can see here this is the inlet water and from this chamber this is passed to this one and from here th these are all receiving chambers and from here it is passed to this uh, chamber and from here it is passed to this the there are four chambers uh, and from the last one the water is the, from the last receiving chamber here the water is passed from this to the SBR uh, tank uh, this this one so from receiving chamber the water is passed to this SBR tank this is a sequential batch reactor tank we have same way we have two tanks here we can see here at one tank the water is completely almost filled here as the gate was open
and we will let us see the we will see here the SBR tank here there is a dissolved oxygen transmitter DO transmitter is there which gives the signal of dissolved oxygen contained in this water this is a force Marshall mix DO transmitter its range is 0 to 10 ppm it is a 4 Marshall make dissolved oxygen sensor it gives 4 to 20 milliampere output to the PLC here we have uh, in this tank uh, this is an ultrasonic level sensor this is also installed in this tank to measure the level of this uh, tank and this uh, machine is a decanter this is a decanter machine and it is used to, to pass the water from this tank to the other section uh, this is basically pass the clean water in fact let us uh, go in detail to see the construction of this uh, SBR tank here you can see the mesh of uh, tubes there this is for blowing the air from the bottom of this uh, tank so that the maximum air gets dissolved in this uh, water so that the oxygen content get increased so we have complete mesh of uh, pipes with holes in it at certain intervals and these are connected to the uh, top um, <coughs> blue pipe which is a air pipe this is a blue these two blue pipes are air pipe which is connected to a blower this is a sludge holding and thickener tank here the sludge from that uh, SBR tank which is a which comes here is from here the sludge holding tank it is passed to a centrifuge machine from where the uh, sludge is separated this is a centrifuge machine here we get uh, this uh, sludge material and it is centrifuged this is a solid centrifuge machine here the water and uh, solid material is separated we have two centrifuge machine and the water from this uh, machine is chlorinated here it is attached to a tank uh, we can see here these are the pumps for chlorination and these are the two tanks and it is the water is here water is treated with the chlorine and then it is disposed here from here so this is a centrifuge section along with chlorination system there is an agitator here which keeps rotating when there is a water in it now let us see this is this is the disposal last section of this uh, stp plant from where we the water is passed through a channel this is the treated water you can say and this is the outlet of stp plant and this is right now the, <coughs> there is a slight water passing through it And there are here uh, we have uh, four chambers uh, made here. This is the final uh, outlet of a uh, section of this uh, STP plant, and we have uh, four chambers. <coughs> In this way, it is constructed. 
each chamber is also interlinked by a slight gap at the bottom of this wall you can see here this is a wall which has got the gap at the upper side So here is the final uh, water which comes, uh, treated water which comes here and it is passed to the outlet. Let us see from the top, uh, you can see from top here, these are the various sections of the outlet chamber <coughs> and it is passed from step by step to this to the final outlet. So this was basically whole <coughs> construction of this uh, STP plant and let us see the electrical part also this is the starter panel MCC panel motor control center and we have various uh, starters here for starting and stopping the various motors and pumps that are installed in this STP plant this uh, is the incomer here of the panel ACP incomer and at the right side of this panel we have more starters uh, few more starters <coughs> if you will see here in, in nearer this is the agitator tank agitator starter this is a dosing pump on off from here we can start the centrifuge machine and from here also this is the second centrifuge machine in this way we have all the start and stop uh, control for, <coughs> for all the motors through this uh, MCC panel which is also called motor control center. This panel is <coughs> connected to a PLC panel and this is a PLC panel programmable logic controller panel and we have uh, here this PLC this is the LNT PLC and these are the input and output cards which are wired and analog card also for various getting various sensors input and we have in the PLC panel we have uh, various connectors DC terminals are there red and black fuse terminals are there SMPS MCBs along with input and output uh, terminals we have relay boards for output isolation so uh, see here we have this power terminals and after that we have input terminals here these are all the input uh, terminals of PLC and here we have relay boards for output mode to control the uh, start and stop of motors This is a VFD panel, uh, AC drive panel you can say, which is used to control the blower. We have 75 kilowatt uh, VFD here and right now it is a charged up but not started. It is showing 0, 0.0 hertz and 40.7 is the frequency that is set here. If you will start, it will reach 40.7 hertz frequency, and these are the output uh, cable connectors terminals here. And we have three blowers uh, in this project, and this is basically three drive uh, panel installed by the side of this blower, and these are the blowers, air blowers. And these are these blowers are used to pump air in the tank SBR tank, which we have shown already here. And let us see here. The this is the blue pipeline of air. This is the header of blue pipeline, and we have uh, three uh, 
viewers which are connected to this uh, tank this um, header so if we will start one blower the air pressure will start up and it will the air will be blown from this blow pipe to the aeration tank which is SBR tank and in case we need more uh, air pressure then we can start two or three blowers as per our requirement as per our the system requirement so <coughs> this was all about control equipment and here finally we have SCADA which is also installed there with the, all the schematic and controls all the controls are also possible from this SCADA hope you have understood the working of this STB plant thank you for watching it